Do you want to learn how to deploy a Docker image to your server using a GitLab pipeline? In this video, we will learn exactly that. We will first store our Docker image in GitLab's container registry, then set up a container on our server that uses that image, and then create a pipeline that automatically pulls updates and then restarts the container on our server. In the end, you can push a change to your repository and automatically update your application. For this video, we will need a Docker image of our or of your application already. In case you do not have a Docker image yet, check out the video in the description or on the i. Before we can upload our image to the GitLab container registry, we need to get access to it. For that, we will create a personal access token or PAT in the next step. To make this step a bit easier for you, just use the link in the description. It's the same one that I'm clicking now. So we click on it and then we select how long the PAT should be usable, check the permissions and then generate the token. The resulting token needs to be copied and stored somewhere safe because we will need it in the next steps. We then log into the registry on our local device. For that, we store the PAT inside an environment variable, sign into the container registry using the environment variable, and then create the image name as a variable and build and upload the container image. We also repeat the first step on our server. So we store the PAT inside a variable and then sign into the container registry using that variable. Now that we stored the image inside the container registry, we create a Docker compose file on our server. In this compose file, we specify our container. First, the service name, then the container name, the image, this is the location inside the container registry. And lastly, we create a port mapping so that we can visit it. Then we build the container by running docker compose up minus D and check if it's reachable. Next, we will create the GitLab pipeline. But before we can do that, we need to create an SSH key to access our server and some variables that will be used in the pipeline. First, we create the SSH key. For that, we first check that the user has access to the directory containing the docker compose file and is able to run docker. In case we use the same user as in the previous step, so creating the container, this should be given. We then create an SSH key using the SSH keygen utility, add the public key to the authorized keys file, and then copy the content of the private key file in base64 encoded. This is important so that we can store the private key securely in GitLab. We then go to the GitLab repository in our browser. There we go to settings, CICD, variables and click on expand and then create the following variables. First, the SSH private key with the content of the private key file in base64 encoded. We have to mask this variable. Then the SSH user, the user that accesses the server in the pipeline. Then the SSH host, so the IP of the server. Then the work dir. So the path to the directory containing the Docker compose file. And lastly, the PAT. So the personal access token to log into the registry. This one also has to be masked. Now that this is done, we can create the actual pipeline. And for that, we create a new file called .gitlab-ci.yaml. Inside the file, we define the following content. First, the jobs that run in the pipeline, then a variable containing the image name, then we define the jobs. The first one will build and publish the image, so we call it publish. It runs on 
the Docker image and uses the Docker in Docker service to be able to run Docker inside the container. We then log into the container registry and build and push the image. In the second job, we pull the new version and update the container. We run it after the publish job and call it deploy. We use Ubuntu as the image and this job consists of four steps. First, we install SSH. Then we install the SSH key on the container running the job. Then we log onto our server, pull the image and update the container. And lastly, we run some cleanup stuff. And with that, we finish the pipeline setup. Now we can run git add, git commit and git push to let it run. If we now check the pipeline, we can see that it runs through seamlessly. With that, you learned how to create a GitLab pipeline to automatically deploy the Docker image of your application and update the container running the application. If this video was helpful to you, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. If there are any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments or join my Discord and ask there. So, thank you for watching and happy coding!